Okay. So before I came to the D school, ambiguity just sort of sat in my stomach. It was stressful. I used to understand ambiguity um, as kind of an enemy. I remember just being paralyzed by this fear of playing up all the what ifs. I would freeze and organize all my thoughts in my brain before I took any action. What if I failed? What if I don't get the right answer? What if I get the right answer and I don't like the answer? <laughs> I prided myself on thinking I was pretty good <laughs> at ambiguity, which turned out to be a load of crap. <laughs> we thought it was like a maths problem that we could look at and find the, the solution. I thought navigating ambiguity was a solo journey and all you needed to do was to bash through the forest. After going through the leadership, I understand that navigating ambiguity needs a lot of partners, a lot of collaborators, and the more guides you have and the more people you have within the forest, the easier it is to find your way out. Uh, now, after taking the class, when I'm in a moment of ambiguity, I know to just embrace it and that it's part of the process. Now, when I think of ambiguity, it's really about thinking about one experiment, one idea that you can tackle to give you additional insights and a lens in which you can navigate forward. So now, when I think about ambiguity, it's not, a, it's the sinking feeling, I'm not gonna lie, it still can be there, but at least I know what it is and how I can wrestle with it in a way that actually leads to something productive or positive instead of quicksand. And something that I've really learned here is that ambiguity is often about the what, but it's but we have tools and mindsets and um, approaches that help us make sure that we know the how. And then if you don't know the why, like why are you on the journey in the first place? Um, so I think I've become a lot more confident in um, uh, what the purpose of ambiguity is. Moving forward, I think I'm actually gonna be almost looking forward to those moments of ambiguity because that will tell me that I'm close to the solution. Previously, I would avoid those situations where I felt uncertain about what the answer could be. Now I realize that that's, I've done the groundwork to get to the position where the answer is going to come to me. So I look for that moment where I feel like all the data is there but there is no answer and then I can just sit with it kind of like holding your breath and sitting at the bottom of the pool and if you hold your breath long enough you'll see some weird stuff and that's what happens I find with ambiguity and solutions. And sometimes the best is to hold your breath next to other people and then you see some really weird stuff. And the ideas that come out of them are quite often better than your own. And I think it's only ambiguity that will put you in that circumstance where you have to ask for help. And that's almost why I look for those situations of ambiguity where I don't have the answer and so I need to get it from someone else. That's going on a bumper sticker. <laughs>